Hola y bienvenido a Learn Spanish en SpanishDict.com. Soy Perley Whitmire y soy tu profesora. Hoy aprenderás de los comparativos y los superlativos con los deportes y la música, como el fútbol es más popular que el tenis. La música clásica es la más bonita, en mi opinión. Y mucho más. ¡Vámonos! Vale, it's been a while since you practiced with adjectives, so it's time to review. You know, you can describe any person, place, or thing with an adjective, but in Spanish, it has to match in gender and number. ¿Recuerdas? El es alto. Alto is singular and masculine because el is singular and masculine. Ella es baja. Baja is singular and feminine because ella is singular and feminine. Super fácil. You can also describe how short or tall someone is in English when comparing them to someone else, right? He is taller than her. She is shorter than him. In English, we usually add ER to the end of an adjective to make it stronger, and we can use more or less in front of the adjective. He is more bored than her. She is less bored than him. And this is the way it works in Spanish. There is no ER equivalent, but rather you use the more or less plus an adjective plus than formula for all comparisons in Espanol. Much easier than English. Just use this formula. Más o menos, more or less, plus an adjective of your choice, plus que, which in this case means than. Let's look at a few examples using sports. Now these are just my opinions, so feel free to argue with me in your writing assignment. El golf es más aburrido que el snowboarding. Golf is more boring than snowboarding. El surf es más interesante que el ping pong. Surfing is more interesting than ping pong. El tenis es menos popular que el fútbol. Tennis is less popular than soccer. El patinaje sobre hielo es menos peligroso que el hockey sobre hielo. Ice skating is less dangerous than ice hockey. Bueno, más o menos plus an adjective plus que. That's all there is to regular comparisons. Now, there are a few irregular comparisons that you need to know, two of which are irregular in English as well, so you should expect it. While bueno means good, you already know that, to say better in Espanol, you use mejor. Mejor. And while malo means bad, to say worse in Espanol, you would use peor. Peor. The comparisons of age are also irregular in Spanish. While viejo means old, you'll use mayor for older. And joven means young, but you will use menor for younger. Let's try a few with these irregular verbs. I'll give you some sentences with two options for the comparison adjectives. Only one of these is going to make sense, so choose wisely. El fútbol americano es mejor o menor que el juego de bolos. Mejor. Mi abuelo es peor o mayor que mi prima. Mayor. El senderismo es peor, menor que el monopatinaje. Peor. Mi hermano es menor o mejor que mi madre. Menor. Bien, ahora pasamos a los superlativos. In English, we add 
EST to the end of an adjective to describe a noun in the extreme or when we're comparing it to two or more items like prettiest and ugliest. You can also use most or least to describe a noun to the extreme like the least boring or the most fun. In Espanol, el superlativo usually is formed by using the adjective as a noun, meaning you're going to use a definite article like el, la, los, or las. You're also going to use más for most and menos for least, but the definite article and the adjective always need to match the first noun in gender and number. Let's take a look. It'll make more sense. La música folclórica is singular and feminine. That means when I say country music is the least fun music, I would say la música folclórica es la menos divertida. I use la menos divertida. La and the A ending on divertida because I am describing la música folclórica, which is singular and feminine. Check out a few more examples. La música rock es la más popular en los Estados Unidos. La música flamenca es la más bonita para mí. La música rap es la menos interesante para mi madre. La música clásica es la menos popular. See how that works? And you can add para mí, para ti, or para and any person to mean in my opinion, in your opinion, etc. Why don't you try a few? Fill in the blanks in the sentences with the correct definite article and choose más o menos. I've already picked out an adjective for you and matched it to the noun and gender and number. You just provide your opinion and the correct definite article. Por ejemplo, Aquí tienes la música clásica es, and then a blank, and you choose between más o menos, and I already have bonita there for you. If you think classical music is the most beautiful, then you would say, la música clásica es la más bonita. If you think classical music is the least beautiful of all musics, then you would say, la música clásica es la menos bonita. It all depends on your knowledge of definite articles and your opinion. Why don't you try a few with some sports? El basketball es más o menos divertido. El, para mí, el basketball es el más divertido. El béisbol es más o menos popular en los Estados Unidos. El. Para mí, el béisbol es el más popular en los Estados Unidos. El voleibol es más o menos importante. El. el voleibol es el más importante para mí. Muy bien. Y super fácil, ¿no? Pero, por supuesto, hay irregulares para los superlativos también. You wouldn't say that something is the most good or the most bad, right? Same in español. To say something is the best, you just use your word for better, mejor, and put the definite article in front of it. Like, el fútbol americano es el mejor deporte para mí. Football is the best sport in my opinion. Same goes for the worst. Use the word for worse, but put a definite article in front of it. Like, el golf es el peor deporte para mí. Golf is the worst sport, in my opinion. Why don't you try a few? Remember to make the definite article match the noun in gender and number.